Hi, my name's Lance Botel, and you are watching The Scroll, part of the Altair campaign. This is a demonstration on how the turn-based combat and the AI work together. At the moment, the pink brain down here represents all characters who are in puppet mode, and to turn the AI on for everyone, I just left click on the green brain, to, or to make it green brain, and the AI switches on for every single character. If I wish to turn that off for individuals, just double right click and it will remove the AI symbol showing that the AI is no longer operating for that character. You will also see that the green brain goes into a green red split to show it's partially AI, partially player controlled. Um, and to show you from the main menu we've currently got the auto pause if enemy sensed on which means if we should encounter anything the game will automatically pause and set us up into combat mode. So let's see what happens when we do that. I'll move just to show you a demonstrate if I turn the AI off on my Aura and move forward you will see that everybody apart from my Aura which is this character here is now following or not yes my Aura isn't if I want her to follow as well just left click and that brings everybody into follow mode so let's carry on moving forward and here we are it looks like we have an encounter we do. and it brings up the targeting GUI straight away and there's our enemy ahead. So I'm going to allow my Aura to do her own thing with her bow and I'll allow the others to carry on doing their own thing under the AI current settings. And as you can see at the moment they're all following. That would change but if I want to update it straight away I can just do broadcast command the attack nearest, on! and it gives us an update on what each of them doing. Scraps is going to go in to have an attack. That's Scraps, our henchman. I'm going to go in to have an attack and the others are working on their AI. However, I'm going to override my going to attack and just move my character to there. As you can see, that also updates here. I'm unpausing. This is an establishing round, which means it could be anything up to six seconds. Thereafter, every round lasts six seconds. But for now, I'll unpause the establishing round. Okay. Let's have a look at this situation. Everybody looks good at the moment, so I'm just going to unpause and let the action continue to unfold. The walls should automatically start All information back. updated. If they do. Now, because there's a character breaking on the flanks here, I'm going to target it with my character and allow the rest of the combat to continue. Right, AI is still doing a good job at the moment, so I'm going to look at what I've got available. That character looks dead, or rather that monster creature. I'm going to carry on unpausing. At the moment it says I've got no target, so I'll select a new one, because obviously I just killed that one. Right, that's probably as much as I want Ariel to do, because he's not very strong, so I'll actually bring him back out of the combat. So, I'm going to double right click on him to take him out of uh, AI mode, select him as a character and bring him back out of the combat. Uh, may not be able to do it until I've unpaused, because he's in the middle of a spell. So I'll unpause and I'll move him. Okay, round five. Currently Ariel is waiting at commands. Let's see what he's got in the way of spells. I can, I'm still in him at the moment. He hasn't got a great number of spells, so... Okay, for the, for the argument of demo, I will send him round the back to attack this one that's got fewer hit points. And hopefully he won't encounter anything round the way. So, if I left click, that now gives him a target. All the others have got a target. Scraps is out of action because he's been hit down. Taylor's not looking too good, so I might bring him out Yay, of it as well. Let's attack. Turn his AI off and bring him back. And unpause. <laughs> Let the round finish. Okay, Taylor's still waiting for a target. I might actually get him to do a spell and heal himself. So if I do that, that's what he's doing. I may have my Aura change her target, turn her off AI, and select that target instead. Same with Thresca, turn her AI off, select her, uh, Look who showed take up. on the same target. 
and I will now unpause and see how that takes us. Give me a moment, and this will all be over. There we are, that was much, much better. And just to see how the AI handles the, the final two, I'll just turn it all back on. Just broadcast command, attack nearest. For a fight. Come on. You can see the GUI updating over here, and we'll unpause and let the seventh round finish. Perhaps I should have taken Ariel out of it, but I think under the circumstances, we can just let the battle continue. Of course, Testy actually sure. won't, yes. won't attack because he's the main character, and I've deliberately made it so he will always ask. But there you go. We won the battle anyway, and apart from Ariel taking uh, an XP loss for falling in combat, uh, we otherwise survived to live another day. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been helpful.